Hello everyone, my name is Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I have an ASUS ROG Strix, the G614 model. I'm gonna show you how to get inside, access your storage. So first thing, power down your computer, make sure that it's off and unplugged from your charger. We're then gonna flip your computer over to access the bottom case screws. Now this computer has 11 screws near the red arrows that need to be removed. The bottom screw near the blue arrow is a captive screw that will not actually come out of the bottom case when you unscrew it. It actually lifts the bottom case up a little bit to help you start prying it off. After you have the screws removed, you take a small flat pry tool and you're gonna start in that corner near the blue arrow and you're gonna pry the seam of the bottom case up from the rest of the computer. Now don't put the pry tool too far in. You could damage some internal components. Keep it on the edge. Go nice and slow but firm, and you'll be able to get that bottom case off. After you do, this is what you're looking at for the inside of your computer. Now as a general computer repair side note, whenever I'm working on a computer in my shop, it's sitting on an anti-static mat. Either that or an anti-static bracelet are great ideas to avoid damaging anything in your computer when you're working on it. If you would like any help with tools or supplies for your computer project, as well as any of the replacement and upgrade parts for this specific model computer, I will have a link above, also below in the description, and it will be a list of all the tools and supplies, as well as the replacement and upgrade parts for this computer. Now, before touching anything in a computer, it's always best to unplug your battery first. Computers are safer to work on when as little power as possible is running through them. Now, this is your battery right here along the bottom of my screen. To access the battery plug, we have to access that small fan that sits directly above it. The fan is held in by the two screws near the red arrows and plugs into the motherboard near the blue arrow. Now, when unplugging that fan, be very careful. Fan wires are very fragile. If you pull them too hard or incorrectly, you could damage the wire. Sometimes you could pull it right out of the plug. So be very careful. Try to use your fingernails or a pry tool to wiggle that plug out of that port instead of just pulling on it. The battery is held down by the screws near the red arrows and plugs into the motherboard near the blue arrow. Now to get that plug up, there's a metal bar right next to the blue arrow. You have to slide that bar to the right and that releases the battery plug. After that, you can pop that battery plug directly up and off of the motherboard to unplug it. As far as storage, noted by the red arrows, this computer has two M.2 NVMe PCIe ports. They both take 2280 sized Gen 4 solid state drives. I will have all that information below in the description for your reference, but I will also include several replacement and upgrade options for you in that list with all of those tools, supplies, and replacement parts. I will have a one terabyte stick, a two terabyte, and a four terabyte stick to choose from. In addition to that, if you're looking for some larger uh, bulk long-term storage, I will have a couple different external drives for you. One a solid state drive, one a hard drive. The way to operate the solid state drive is to remove that single screw on the end in the middle. The solid state drive will then release and you can pull it out of that port. Also keep in mind, if you are installing a new drive onto this computer, you may need to install an operating system onto it afterwards. I will have video tutorial links below in the description showing you how to do that. Also, be aware that if you're replacing a drive that has gone bad, it's usually possible to recover data even from those bad drives. I will have more information about that below in the description as well. And lastly, as long as you're in your computer, check out near the blue arrows, this is your RAM. RAM is a large part of your computer's speed and performance ability. And this computer has a good amount of RAM upgrades available. If you want more information on how to upgrade this RAM, Check out the video that pops up when this one's done and I'll explain more about that. If you have any questions, check out the FAQs below in the description. It could save you some time getting an answer. If you do need to leave me a question or comment, please feel free. I try to check those a couple times a day at least. Thanks so much for watching everyone. I look forward to seeing you on my next video.